Welcome to Stogie Palace. I am your host, Chris. Three things going on in this video today. One, I am reattempting the Aging Room Solera Corojo, which I said I would. It was six months ago that I bought these. So these should have had plenty of time to, to reacclimate, dry out. I don't know what the conditions totally were when I bought it, when I did that first review. So that's number one. Number two, I'm gonna give you the top 10 cigars of my picks for last year, 2017. This is now 2018. And number three, uh, sorry about the long delay. I'll get to those later. You're mainly here probably for my top 10 picks. Um, that's what I titled the review the video. But first, I gotta get this thing lit up. So, terrific cold draw. Did a straight cut on it. See it better there? So let's get this thing going. So as far as the long delay, four months, sorry. Just been so busy with other things. It's all good stuff, it's just been busy. I've done a lot of smoking meat. That's right, I've gotten a couple smokers. Two smokers just in the last four or six months. And uh, yeah, got into that, the food side of things. The booze side of things, always having fun, tending bar at my house and trying new things out on people and having little get togethers and stuff. So just been really busy with that. Yeah, and it's not just that. It's the smoke eater that I got. I don't know if it's doing quite as good as I had hoped it would. So those that may remember, I smoked the cigar and I thought it was too moist, uneven burn. I was a little disappointed, even though it got a pretty good score and it actually made my top 10. But that's not saying a lot. I didn't do a ton of videos in 2017, as you, some of you have commented. So I want to give this one another, another chance, fair shake. I don't think it'll do better than the 94 rating I gave it. That's pretty good. But without any further ado, let's get to this top 10 of mine. And of course, you can go back and see all these videos anytime you like. I'm going to go in reverse order. So far, I uh, am enjoying this. And it has been a while since I actually smoked a cigar. Uh, you know how head colds come and go, right? Well, that was part of the reason. You, have, you usually have to give a head cold a pretty wide berth and once you have it and once you're getting over it so cigars don't taste wrong. Drawing great, way better than before. Now, I had this in Humidor B, I'll call that. That's my older one that I bought from somebody. It doesn't hold humidity as well as my 300 count Humidor, which holds pretty much perfectly at 65 pretty easily. This other one, it gets, it drops fast and then it comes back it's I don't know what the deal is with that thing um, and when I look today when I was adding more um, water to the beads it was like 51% probably wasn't there long because I added water not too long ago why it was so low I don't know it might be the reader too it might be the device very nice been away from cigars for too long so number 10 would be the Quesada Tributo Manolin that received a score of 94. Number nine, Arturo Fuente Florfina 858 also scored a 94. Number eight, this cigar, Adrum Solera Corojo Fantastico. It is Fantastico. It's, um, the draw, maybe a slight bit snugger than I like, but that's okay. It's not, I'm sure that'll probably change. It definitely, I can tell a difference already from the one I smoked six months ago. Bought at the same time, same place. Number seven, Gurkha. Gurkha made my top 10, I'm surprised too, but it was a good one, a Red Witch XO, rated a 95. Number six was the Sereno XX Maduro. Some of these are from the Cigar Authority Care Package. I believe, I, I know that one was. Uh, stand by. Number five, the Padron 3000, coming in at a 96. Hmm. Number four, the Dunbarton Sobre Mesa. This was the Cervantes Fino, also a 96. Number three, Rocky Patel, 15th anniversary, 97. That was a great cigar. 
Number two, the La Galera Maduro. This is not the Connecticut. This is not the Habano. This was a different one, the Maduro. Came in at 97. And number one, drum roll, please. Scoring a 98, the highest score of any cigar for 2017. Pretty good overall period for all the year or two years I've been doing these videos. The Illusione, Illusion Ultra, 98. It's a terrific cigar. I think I got that from the Cigar Authority Care Package too. I would say half of these I probably did. So, so far, this cigar, granted, very, uh, oops, not very far into it, is doing terrific. Um, good flavor, great aroma, good draw, even burn. And uh, yeah, so addressing the people saying I've gone too long without a video, you're absolutely right. Um, and I also want to make a point of thanking all the new subscribers. I've, I, I don't know why, I'm surprised y'all uh, join and watch my videos. I appreciate it. As you can see, I don't have any ads turned on. I'm not doing this for the money. Uh, just, just doing it as a hobby, something to do on the side. And um, somebody accused me of busting the balls of my viewers by not making videos. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I, I think busting the ball of the balls is a more something that somebody actually does by doing something, not by not doing something. Now, if he meant that I was kind of teasing my viewers, okay, I can kind of get that. I've been trying to keep up on the comments and reply back to them, and I appreciate all of them. And I can't believe I almost have a thousand subscribers, which to some re cigar viewers would, or reviewers would think, well, that's not very much. But for somebody that's not really pushing it and not advertising it and not promoting it, just doing it when I have the time and just kicking back and making videos, it's fine with me. Uh, holidays are over, but I do have a Christmas themed Hawaiian shirt. Just keep up tradition, of course. So I'm gonna smoke this further down and give you a follow-up review on it. Be right back. Well, I am beyond a halfway in, down to the last third or so of this Adrian Solera. Corojo. Yeah. Out of here. Um, just notice this uneven burn. Um, up till then, it's been pretty doing pretty good. It's it's drawn great. It's definitely an improvement over what I had six months ago. Would I change the scoring? Eh, I'll probably keep it the same, but it's a very good cigar. Once again, it's very reminiscent of the Camacho Corojo, one of my favorite cigars. Now, I also mentioned in the previous little clip there about my smoke eater, which is my Rabbit Air Minus A2. It's right above the camera right now. You can't see it or hear it. But, um, yeah, and I've thank you for the comments about ways to get rid of odor. Um, I think it's just the fact that I have a carpet in this office gets into the carpet. It has to be it. Because it'll take sometimes a few days for the smell to completely be gone from this office which is used as an office so you know I don't want to hear about it from the wife um, we'll see it's been a while I'm not I'm gonna try mentioning that I didn't not even mention that I smoked a cigar today should be gone for another hour or two but I think she'll know but anyway uh, it, it it clears the smoke just like the videos of it show it definitely the smoke disappears but that doesn't mean the smell does so anyway I uh, hope you uh, like my top 10 picks. Sorry for the long delay. Videos like this, projects like this, whether it be this or podcasts, I do whatever. They, once you get back in the groove of things, you know, you're hoping that you'll have, uh, you know, you'll get the machine running again. Because there's, there's some logistics involved with something like this. It takes more time than just the amount of time you're watching my videos, which some people think are too long. Some people think are just fine. Um, and unlike some of my podcasts, some other subjects, this is one thing that I'm not worried about running out of things to talk about because I have a lot of cigars to smoke that I haven't smoked ever. So they'll be good for reviewing. My only problem is that, my concern is that 
you know, with the FDA stuff that's still kind of going on, uh, and I've heard Cigar Authority talk about this, that they're kind of wondering what new cigars are going to be coming out. And, you know, or if some of the cigars that I have to review are already been pulled off the market, don't even exist anymore. They're not that old. I don't have anything that old, but you know how it is. People want the hottest, newest thing. Those are not always the easy to get a hold of. My smoke shop here locally just moved. I assume the inventory is the same, but they don't carry all the same things that your smoke shop may carry or some other one across the country or two guys smoke shop or anything like that. So most of my newest ones are actually coming from Cigar Authority Care Package, um, which they're not taking any newcomers right now as of this recording date, which is January of 2018. Anyway, enough of that. Um, I may touch that up, but otherwise, uh, definite improvement letting this thing dry out a little bit. And it wasn't, like I said, the humidor that runs a little lower on humidity. I forgot that the reader in there is off by about 3 or 4%, so it's actually higher than what I thought. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Stogie Palace, this is Chris checking out. Check out my other videos. Thanks for all the old and new subscribers. Do appreciate it. And I'll see you later.